So in setting the travel distance or the stroke of the print, uh, on the older machines, of course, once again, you have to push the head back. You'll have to slide the, slide the sensor, and this sensor is the rear sensor, which sets the position of the travel. And then this is the front, which tells the machine that this is the front of the travel. Once again, if you forget and leave the head back, the print head is gonna violently go to the back and crash. So you always have to make sure you pull it back into the range. So this is your front. This tells the machine where it's front and this is your back. Next, we're gonna talk about speed and how speed in relation to these sensors. Adjusting the print stroke on the Mustang is simple. I can literally move the front and rear flag at the same time. Or I can simply push the chopper mechanism back, which automatically takes this flag with it when I push it back. And I can do the same in the front. It'll take the front flag with it. Up next, we're gonna talk about speed and how these flags react during speed changes. So what a lot of press operators have gotten used to is that when you first set the job up, you might set your squeegee and flood bar speeds a little slower to get the ink to clear. Now, what happens when they actually speed it up at a production speed is the head will overshoot. It'll travel too far past the sensor. So what they end up doing is they end up having to move the sensor in when they start running. You always gotta be careful when you're moving the rear one to bump it so you don't lose a finger. But So that's what you're dealing with. Now, if you find that you've stopped the job and you've come back and the viscosity of the ink has changed and you slow the head down on these older machines, what happens? Well, if you printed it now, you're not printing the full image nor are you flooding the full image. So then they have to go back and adjust these sensors, these sensors so that they are printing the full image. And once the ink loosens up, and they once again start to speed the head, they start running too great of a distance, and they go back in, and they shorten the stroke. This goes on screen after screen throughout the day. So some of the nice features of the Mustang when you're looking at speed, first of all, there's no worm gear, so I can literally with one finger drag this back and forth, simply. Changing the flags is easy. Now, one of the things you'll notice when I run this head, and we're running at 20 inches a second right now, take a look at the starting and stopping position, how precise it is. Now I'm gonna slow it way down, and you can see how precise the stopping and starting distance is without having any drift. So we're gonna take a look at that. This will be at five inches a second, which is very slow. And we'll go ahead and bring it to, you, to the front. And you'll notice that the starting and stopping position is accurate. Even if I change the stroke length, the start and stop position in relationship to the flag is the same. And that's what technology does for you. It's precise back to front.